what is happening guys uh got a heavy pack today i got three cameras uh two trophy rocks some liquid attractant <laughs> i got cameras i got water i got everything hauling it in this frame pack probably 50 pounds of gear but i want to get some cameras out on some spots that i've uh, picked out on topo so uh we're going to climb this hill that i haven't climbed since turkey season it is a son of a gun it is steep and it is long but i am excited one thing i want to mention before i get started today appalachia on the hunt the youtube channel is changing it's going to change to hunt appalachia the reason is i'm building a website right now called hunt appalachia and uh it just kind of is going to be a little bit better if the youtube channel matches the domain name huntappalachia.com my youtube channel hunt appalachia anyway i'm pretty excited about it so for the last time ever we're going to roll the appalachia on the hunt intro say bye guys we'll miss the appalachia on the hunt intro First blood. So I don't know if y'all remember that fence crossing right there, but that's where whenever uh, my buddy Nate was down from Pennsylvania turkey hunting with me, all those gobblers came out. Uh, they come right out through here and that's how I mean, I knew this spot was here for deer, but uh, it's kind of how I found it because I wanted to try to get an idea of where those turkeys were roosting. I found this little spot up here. We'll check it out here in a second. So, the reason I like this spot so much it drops off super steep, uh, real, real steep, down into a brushy pasture field type stuff, which I do want to hunt that too, but um, there's some oaks up on this ridge, white oaks and uh, some red oaks up on this ridge, brush all over this ridge. Like, I found some beds on down here. I found some beds on the other side of this point. Basically, there's bedding here for any single wind you want to hunt. Uh, bedding here for any single wind that we're going to get predominantly the wind comes out of the south uh, which means deer would be bedded on this side this is the leeward side um, really the spot that i would hunt is on down probably another hundred yards but i wanted to get these minerals out because i believe most of these deer travel back this way to get to all these oaks uh, or they will be traveling back this way to get to all these oaks and uh there's good fields, there's good browse, there's a lot of good natural vegetation back in here behind me. And I wanted to hit this spot because it's kind of on the way to the good spot that I really want to put a camera in. But this is a good spot too. A lot of trails, a lot of buck rubs up on this ridge. Um, but I don't think hunting on the ridge is a place to be. I think hunting down off this side, uh, especially uh, this early season, when the wind is coming out of the south, I think this side of the ridge is going to be a good spot to be. Anyway, that's spot number one. I'm pretty excited about it. Spot number two is another mile down here, and it's 85 degrees already, and I'm sweating like a pig already. I should have brought an extra shirt to change into because I'm go home and do a wet t-shirt contest for my wife here in a little bit. So after a long walk, I'm back here where I want to be. The only thing is, I did find a tree stand and a trail camera hunting a field edge. That's what their plan is, I can tell, on the other side of this big knob. Doesn't bother me much. They're not hunting in the right spot, I don't believe. But the reason I was coming back here is this big edge goes from brush and stuff here behind me to open hardwoods down here. I've already found one bed right on this edge. That's kind of what got me looking at this spot was that edge 
right off this big point. They can bed around this point on any daggone wind. It's thick up here. Um, they can pick a spot and bed here. So what gets me real excited about it um, is, is this edge habitat. Thick on one side, clear on the other. These deer are gonna be bedding in this thick stuff, watching out, and there's plenty of places that I can set up and hunt in here. Um, I don't have permission in the hardwoods. I have permission in this brushy spot. I might try to get permission in the hardwoods and uh, maybe try to hunt it, but for now I don't have that. I wanna get a camera set up in here, see, what, uh, see what's back in here, and uh, then we'll make a plan as far as access. And uh, as far as where I'm gonna hunt, I already have a couple of trees picked out that look like I could uh, kill deer from here. So pretty daggone exciting. I'm glad I got back here. I'm gonna poke around here a little longer and then get his camera set up. So this is another spot that I found during turkey season. There are trails that go this way, trails that go this way, trails that come diagonal, trails come all over the place, and for whatever reason they cross right here. This is kind of above a low gap, and there's a lot of trails down in that low gap too, but whenever I was turkey hunting this year, I found that a lot more trails converged right here, just up above that low gap than there were in that low gap. I don't know why that is, but, uh, but these deer are definitely moving right through here. And this trail right here, I mean, it's uh, worn to dirt. Like, they, they use it a lot. And I wanted to get a camera out. I actually, I was hoping to get a camera out earlier in the spring, but uh, that just didn't happen. So, got a camera here now. Um, that's my third camera for the day, and that's all I'm gonna put out. I'm, that's at least on this property. Um, now, this property set up perfect for glassing. I'm probably gonna come out, glass some uh, in the evenings. I'm gonna try to anyway and uh, see if I can't find a good buck. Uh, see if I can't locate something worth hunting over here. So I'll probably let these cameras soak for, oh, three weeks or a month. Our season here doesn't come in until around October 1st. Um, I got Kentucky September 1st, and then the urban hunt starts September 8th. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of other hunting before I even get to this. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna get off this daggone hill, get a shower. I'm completely soaked uh get some lunch relax for the rest of my sunday we'll catch y'all later